Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today um, I just replaced my fuel injector for my truck. Um, I'm going to guide you through it a little bit with some pictures because I didn't take any video. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward, so I'll guide you through it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is unclip some electrical connections. There are two to your throttle body and one to your air filter tube. Once those are unclipped, you can take your air filter assembly off. I took mine off all the way down to the throttle body. There is a vacuum tube in front. Go ahead and just pull that apart. And then there will be two Torx bolts holding in your coolant lines. Go ahead and undo those. And then you can just lift those coolant lines and rest them on your throttle body. And then once all of those lines are out of the way, go ahead and undo the nuts holding down your coil packs. Uh, there's three of them and they are 10 millimeter. And then unclip the electrical connections to each coil pack. You just simply push down on the tab on the rear of the clip and just pull them straight back. Once all three of those are undone, you can pull straight up on your coil packs and take all three of them out. Once all three coil packs are out, you'll be able to see your injector a lot more clearly. And there is a little clip holding your fuel rail to your injector. If you stick a flathead screwdriver right in here and give it a twist, they'll pop right off. Then you'll want to undo two bolts holding your fuel rail down. These are going to be 8 millimeter, And then go ahead and pull straight up on your fuel rail. This is going to take a little bit of force because it's really seated on there. Once you have your fuel rail off, you'll be able to pull it back a little bit and you can see that there's an electrical connection onto your injector. You can see on the back side here that there's a little red tab. Pull straight back on that, but be careful not to pull it completely off because these are fragile and they will break. Once everything is off your injector, you can go ahead and pull straight up on it. Uh, you give it a little bit of a wobble to unseat it, and these are really in there, so you're going to have to use a little bit of force. Once you get it off, make sure you get everything out of there. Um, my o-ring came off when pulling it out. And you can see here that the port is a little dirty. I just took a flathead screwdriver and a rag and some solvent and cleaned it up. That way, when we go to put the injector back in, the o-ring will seat well with no crud or junk in there. So you can go ahead and break out your new injector and I put my electrical clip on the injector before I put it in that way you're not messing around underneath the fuel rail and you can see what you're doing. Go ahead and seat your injector down into the port. Before you place your fuel rail back onto your injectors, um, I only replaced one and these old injectors here um, the o-ring came off when we pulled the fuel rail out. So that o-ring is stuck up in the fuel rail port. What I did is I took some 14 gauge copper wire from electrical uh, house electric line and just put a hook in it and just fished it out. But make sure that you don't scuff up that o-ring too bad because you'll get some leaks if you do. Once you have the o-ring back on the injector you can just push straight down and you'll feel this slight pop, that's the o-ring seating into your fuel rail. Go ahead and bolt it back down, again it's 8 millimeter. And then when you place your clips back on, you can see here that there's a little groove on either side of your injector. The clip slips into there and this notch will fit right onto here on your fuel rail port. Once you have your fuel rail and injectors all bolted down and clipped together you can go ahead and push your coil packs back onto your spark plugs and go ahead and clip all three electrical connections back into your coil packs and then bolt down your coil packs with your 10 millimeter nuts go ahead and pull down your coolant line that you had resting on your throttle body bolt those back in with your Torx bolts and go ahead and put your vacuum tube back together. It's just a push fit. Put your air filter tube or assembly back together 
And don't forget your last three clips, two to your throttle body and one to your air filter tube.